Hey guys, Blink, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet outro for your YouTube videos. Now you can download the outro uh, Photoshop file in the description below, and you can change the colors, text, anything you want on it. You guys could credit me if you want. Um, I did make this, but um, you don't have to credit me on every video or whatever. This is for you guys. But anyways, guys, let's get started. I already started this uh, making this guide, but it was way too long. I want to keep it under 10 minutes at least so I'm gonna stop talking and let's get to it all right guys so you're first gonna want to go to file new and uh, make sure your width is 1920 and your height is 1080 make sure it's on pixels and hit ok all right so the first thing you're gonna want to do is double click on background and hit ok you're gonna want to right click on this layer and hit duplicate I just like to do this it's just a thing that I do um, the next thing we're gonna want to do we're gonna work on the I actually have the thumbnail done. I'm just remaking it basically for this tutorial purpose. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna change the color by right clicking on the layer, hitting blending options, color overlay, and uh, let's make the color a gray. All right, hit okay, hit okay. Next you're gonna wanna make a random shape, basically a square, whatever. And you're gonna wanna make sure this is a square. If it's not a square, right click it and hit rectangular marquee tool. All right, next you're gonna wanna drag it and uh, it doesn't matter what you make it into. This is unique. Uh, you guys could actually change the shapes up how you like it. I'm just gonna make it uh, the way I like it. So once you uh, like the shape you uh, want, you're gonna let go and it's gonna turn into this um, overlay type thing. You're gonna right click, you're gonna hit copy and now it's its own layer. You're gonna right click the layer, hit blending options and we're gonna change the color so you can see it and we're gonna change it to blue. Let's do, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's good enough. Hit okay and hit okay. Next, we're gonna want to go to edit, transform, and go to uh, skew. And we're gonna change how this is gonna look. See, you could uh, mess with all these corners, basically, guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, you could mess with it by doing the distort option, any of those options. I just clicked skew because uh, this is how we're going to make it. All right, so what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to do it basically this. This is it. You're going to add this to the top corner. That's how I like it. I'm going to click control T so I could actually make it a little longer. Uh, actually, yeah. I'll just stretch it out a little more. All right, that's good. Um, so now what I'm gonna wanna do, I'm just clicking Control T guys, by the way, so I could kind of stretch it out a little. All right, so next, what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna add the text, so the thanks for watching text. You're gonna hit this T, you're gonna click anywhere on the screen and type thanks for watching. Actually, we're gonna do it in capitals. Um, the font I'm using is my raid pro and i'm gonna add in the description for you guys if you want to download it uh, basically if you want to uh, use it or if you want to change your fonts you just click here uh, if you want to use it you go to your c drive so my computer c drive users your name and then no my computer c drive users your your name oh let me see i don't remember local disk c sorry um you go to windows then you go to fonts that's it my bad so you go to computer local to see windows and fonts you place it in there and that's it and then it should pop up in here once you search it anyways guys let's keep it going we're at three minutes all right so the next thing we're going to want to do is right click the font click color overlay and let's do white next we're going to want to resize it because it's way too big so you're gonna click here, you're gonna pick a size, and uh, that's good enough. Then next you're gonna wanna click Control T, and uh, if you go to the outside of the um, text, you could hold, um, hold down your left click, and you can move it around. So we are gonna move it like this. That looks good. Um, let's do, let's Control T it. Uh, yeah, let's Control T it. Hold Shift if you wanna resize it by clicking control T. Uh, that's a little better. All right, so we're gonna keep it like that, guys. Uh, the next thing we're gonna wanna do is make another shape by going to your shape tool, make another rectangle, um, click copy. Or sorry, if that happens to you guys, you have to actually go go to the layer zero. That's why I make the layer zero. Um, hit copy. Next, we're gonna wanna go to blending options, 
color overlay actually yeah you can do that uh color overlay and click this i'm on the yeah that's actually good sorry i'm on the i have to set this layer to the top drag this layer to the top guys and then you should see it now um you could do this also uh by right clicking on this layer hitting copy layer style and pasting it on the bottom layer uh you didn't see a change because i just made it the same color anyways guys uh, you hit edit, transform, let's go to, let's do rotate again. Actually, sorry, I was at skew, not rotate. Let's do skew. Now I'm going to grab this corner. Um, how did I do this? Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to grab this corner. I'm going to put that down. Then I'm going to push, push this in. I could. All right, let's see. It doesn't matter how you guys do it. Uh, you can make it unique uh, yourself. I'm just doing it how I want it. So you just mess with any of these corners, guys. Up to you. Um, let's do it more in. Let's put that in a little more. All right, that looks good enough. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so right here, you guys could actually add your logo up to you. Uh, I just like this cause I want to add a little more blue into this. All right. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to layer zero. We're going to add the actual, uh, video area. So you're going to want to make, um, two rectangles. Actually, you're going to want to make one cause we're going to duplicate the other. So you're going to want to go down to layer zero, right click. Actually, this is not big enough for me. That looks a little more like a video thumbnail. Uh, hit copy. Next, you're gonna bring that up to the top. It's gonna to be white because it is a white layer that we copied it on. Next, you're gonna to want to go to layer three. We're gonna hit duplicate layer. You're gonna move it over. And um, now we could just uh, copy them both by clicking shift. Sorry, not copy. Just uh, click on one and hold shift and then click on the other. Then you can move it around. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna uh, center this properly. So you're gonna right click, once you have them both copied, click on convert to smart object. You're gonna hit um, layer, arrange, or sorry, uh, we forgot, I forgot to do something. You're supposed to click control A after you did the smart object, so it selects everything. Layer, align, vertical centers, and go to layer, align, horizontal centers. Now it's uh, perfectly aligned. We're gonna right click on that layer. You could actually click control D to deselect that. Uh, the weird, uh, the white stuff. Uh, you're gonna right click, hit blending options. We're gonna change the color of the stroke. Now for the stroke, we're gonna set the position to the inside because I like the square, the sharpness. And we're gonna set it to, let's do five. Let's do five. Yeah, let's do five. Uh, next, we're gonna do inner shadow. And you can mess with the inner shadow size. You could do like a nice, like, like a fade. I'm going to click on this to, um, you guys could, uh, if you click on the color and you click on the blue, you could change the actual colors. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on the blue. Now I got the exact blue, but I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to mess with the size. I'm actually, actually I will. I'm going to mess with the choke first. Then I'm going to mess with the size, which is going to sharpen it for me. How I like it. Let's do it like this. Let's see. Uh, set the distance to zero, by the way. If you want to do exactly like mine. All right, let's keep it like this. This looks good. Next, you're gonna want to hit okay. Now, if you like this design, you can keep it. You can mess with it. All up to you. Next, we're gonna want to go and work on the social aspect. Actually, we're gonna add the titles first and your uh, YouTube name title. So you're gonna wanna click on text, make a new text layer and uh, your name, I don't know what your name's gonna be, your name's gonna be whatever your name's gonna be for your YouTube channel. All right, so next you're gonna want to go to T and let's put it to 120. We're gonna set this in the corner and right click it, blending options. You're gonna want to go to stroke. Uh, we're gonna go to blue hit okay we're gonna set the color overlay to white and it's going to be white yay uh i'm gonna actually gonna go to stroke i'm actually gonna set this to like five yeah five looks better 
Um, so that's where you're gonna put your, you can set this wherever you want. You can put it right here if you really want, up to you guys, or right here. All up to you. All right, so um, this is where your name goes. I'm just gonna put it right here. Uh, you guys can mess with that yourself. Um, next, we're gonna cre create the titles of the videos. So we're gonna do previous video and random video. So I'm gonna do in capitals previous video. All right, so I'm gonna set the title font to, let's do 48. Uh, yeah, 48 is good enough. And we're gonna duplicate it by right clicking. Duplicate and hit okay. Next, you're gonna wanna move it over and you're gonna want to hit, actually type random video. So you're just gonna click on it, hit uh, and type in random video. All up to you guys. I don't know how you guys want it. Next, we're gonna want to actually right click it, blending options, we're gonna make this white. So we're gonna go to color, we're gonna make it white, hit okay, hit okay. I'm gonna copy the layer style and paste it just to make it easier. So now they're both white and let's move on to the social aspect. I'm actually gonna duplicate one of the words. I could just uh, click on the T, all up to you guys. And we're gonna type in stay connected because we're making the social aspect. Now, I'm gonna make this smaller because that's how I'm gonna fit my social aspect part. Let's do, yeah, 36 is good. All right, so I'm actually gonna make another shape, guys. So we're gonna go down to the bottom layer and let's make another shape here. Let's do it like, yeah, that's good enough. Uh, you're gonna hit copy. You're gonna drag that to the top. Um, now we're going to work on another shape. So edit, transform, let's do skew again. All up to you guys. I'm going to make it look like this. That looks good to me. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna hit control T. I'm gonna make it smaller. All right, now I'm gonna put this into the corner, guys, because that's how I want it. I'm actually gonna drag this out a little more. I'm actually gonna mess with the skew a little more. I don't want it to be that long. Um, let's do. Let's do that. That looks good. All right, guys. So now I'm just gonna drag it out a little more. Yeah, that looks good. All right, guys. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Stay Connected. We're gonna drag it up here. Now we're actually gonna copy this um, layer right here, which is the skew layer. And I'm gonna make another shape similar to um, the skew. All right, so we're gonna actually transform skew and we are gonna mess with all the angles. I'm actually gonna make it go like this. There, that looks good. Now I'm just gonna make control T and I'm just gonna make it super small. Basically what I'm doing guys. There you go. I'm gonna click the magnifying glass if you wanna actually take a look a little better look and that looks good right there all right so next you're gonna want to let's uh, make a bunch of copies of this right click duplicate and we're gonna make a bunch I'm actually gonna mess with this a little more All right, that looks a little better. All right, so we're gonna put this down here. Right click, duplicate, hit okay. We're gonna drag it over. We're gonna actually, you could grab, this is a ruler. If you push this down, it's like a ruler. And you could, I'm gonna center it to the bottom so I could actually take a look and kind of position it there.
All right, so um, we're actually gonna click on one of them. We're gonna hit blending options. We're gonna hit color overlay. We're gonna change it to blue. Copy that. We're gonna select the rest of it and we're gonna paste it. Now we're gonna paste, yeah, I like the, this to, to be blue also. So it's gonna be like this, stay connected. Now guys, you could drag your like uh, Twitch logo. Um, hold that down. Paste it right here. We're gonna grab the uh, Instagram. Push that down. That's good. And lastly, we're gonna do the Twitcher. Resize that down. I'm trying to make a similar sizing right here. Uh, probably like that. All right, so now we're just gonna place this. I'm gonna actually make all these white. So go to blending options, color overlay, make it white, continue. And um, now I'm gonna make the name part. So we're gonna go to text. We're gonna add a dash, your name. That's simple as that. I'm gonna put it, resize it down here with the Twitter logo. And that looks good. Now I'm actually gonna paste the layer style, which was, oh, rip, blending options. I'm gonna change it to white, sorry. I'm gonna copy that uh, layer style, go to paste, and let's make both of them white. All right, so if you guys enjoy this video, uh, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Um, also subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And uh, leave me a comment and tell me how this video went, if uh, what I have to improve on, et cetera, et cetera, guys. So that's basically it. I'm gonna wrap it up now. I might fast forward some parts. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah.